This computer is connected via a USB to Montage M. And in this tutorial, I would like to show you how to control the external DAW, in this case Logic Pro, using this interface. Here you can see I can start the song. I can control the song like this. I have audio tracks inside, I have MIDI tracks inside. This is this is MIDI. This is audio from the logic sequencer. This is MIDI from the instrument. This is MIDI from the instrument. And this is obviously audio. And this is also audio. Okay, most important thing is first to connect, of course, via USB MIDI, and you need, in this case, uh, I have this computer with USB C to USB 2, and this cable is connected to the instrument. Then we go to Utility and MIDI I.O., and here it's important, of course, to set up the MIDI in out to USB, very important. And then, this is also very important, you see in the tab Advanced, there are two possibilities to use the USB mode. The first is the generic and the second is Vendor. And Vendor means this is the special driver you can download from the internet side of Yamaha, I will show here. In my experience, it is necessary to use this Vendor if you want to use the instrument as a DAW remote. First step. All right. Then you connect the instrument and of course the first step is to check to uh, the, to check the in and out port and everything. And uh, this is of course easy. Simply, um, simply select a track, for example, this one here. And you see I have the input data visible in Logic Pro. Set the transport window to custom to see all the incoming MIDI events. I created a very simple multi-mode performance consisting of three parts. First part is drums. Second is bass. And a road sound. Now I would like to create an arrangement of these three instruments and then I will add the other tracks like audio and loops and so on directly from the DAW. Important is of course to assign any part to a specific MIDI channel. You see here we have different possibilities or different modes for uh, showing here everything. And here you see a display mode. Here we can change the display mode. I will go back. Display mode. And here you see the key range and everything. And if I change the key range, the, the, the display mode to this parameter, you see here, I can see the directly the MIDI channel. And you see, this is MIDI channel 1, the second track is MIDI channel 2, and this is MIDI, MIDI channel 3. That means in this case, in this particular case, the three parts are parts of a multi-timbral tone generator. If you simply connect the Logic Pro with this tone generator, everything works. You can use up to 16 tracks and uh, this is basically no problem. You don't need any additional DAW remote. But if you want to use the DAW remote function, what you see here on the right side, then it is possible to use, for example, the... It is, it is possible to use the transport window. It is possible to use also here the faders and also the knobs here in this case for panorama and uh, many other functions. And that means you can use this as a real cool remote setup. Okay, 
to set this function up, here I go to settings and you see we have different uh, different options here for Cubase, for Logic Pro, what I used, for Pro Tools and for Live. This is the first point to set up before you connect this with your setup. Next, we go back to the AW Remote and here are some other functions. We go back to Knob and Slider and I will show you now in Logic Pro this setup. Okay, you go to File, you to Logic and to control surface and to setup. And here you see, okay, I already did the setup, but what you can do is, or what you should do is to say, you say, scan all models. Logic starts a scan and after a while you find the complete list of available remotes. But no Yamaha montage which is funny, I was a little bit confused at the first moment, but the concept is to take the Mackey control unit because this is a de facto standard. And then you say, oh, add, I already did it. And that's why I closed this, this window, but I will show you one very important setting. And this is the setup of the input part and the output part. And here it is important to set up to montage port 2, the out port and also the input to montage 2. And in this case, you see, okay, immediately everything works fine. You see here all the faders according to your arrangement, the panorama settings and everything works really fine. And also inside the display, you see the names. Here I have a, a, a MIDI track. This is obviously an audio track. This is again a MIDI track coming from, from the montage M. This is the second part, right? You can see it here. You can see it here, the second part is playing. And as soon as I press DAW remote, the functionality is the remote function for, in this case, Logic Pro. And here you can see how you can work with. Yeah. Like this. Okay, one more time. This is the first part coming from the montage. This is audio and here in this case I use of course the audio interface function of the Montage M. This is the bass coming from this instrument. Here is the road sound, okay. And here voice okay and here's some choir yeah and you can control you can also select the 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 the, the header position and everything you can easily go through your arrangement simply by using the part select function you see I use the part select functions and immediately all the parts, including the audio, are selected. I can uh, set up the record function and all these things are possible here in a very, very comfortable way. And also you see here in the display of the montage, the naming is this exactly the same like the naming in my, my virtual mixing console inside of Logic Pro. As you can see, really great possibilities to use Montage as a DAW control. Very easy, MIDI. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching and see you next time.